Um, my name's Sean Heydrich, I'm the uh, General Manager of Agriculture here with Houston Farms. So my name's Melissa Bitten, I'm an agronomist for Browns Fertiliser. Well, my name's Kyle McFarland, I, uh, I work for Gazola Farms. Lawrence Cowley, I'm the General Manager of Agriculture for Harvest Fresh Cuts. I'm Len Tessarero, I'm a plant pathologist with the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. Oh, my name's Calvin Montague, I'm an associate with Applied Horticultural Research. Our main crops are uh, baby leaf salads. And looking after the market gardens, asparagus and potatoes in the local region. I've worked here for the last uh, 12 months, doing the fertilising and spraying. The main crops grown here are lettuce, celery, broccoli and Asian veg. We have arrangements with salad growers all over Australia. Some of those growers were also participants in the project. I've been working on vegetable crop diseases for over 30 years. Uh, much to my uh, joy, the uh, industry is very interested in soil management. Soilborne diseases is a classification that we give them. It just means that they're plant pathogens, or in many cases, they're microscopic organisms, bacteria, fungi, some viruses even, and nematodes that are able to survive in the soil without the plant being there. And the problem is that the symptoms on the plant can look quite similar. So for a grower, it's difficult to know what strategy that they'll need to use. Um, certainly over my research career, I, I saw a real disjunct between research and what happens in the field. The masterclass concept aimed to link research and practice um, very closely together. Look, a, a key difference um, of masterclass is that it's very much a two-way exchange of ideas and knowledge and practice between the participants and the uh, presenters. With that interaction there's an opportunity for particularly the growers to get a bit of a working plan on how they would enact some of the better principles that they learned during the masterclass back on their own farms. The masterclass really tries to draw together the industry. Uh, I attended the, uh, the masterclass to expand my knowledge, gain some more experience in the industry since I'm only uh, very new to it. I wanted to um, improve my knowledge of break cropping with a view to try and minimising the risks in the future of developing serious soil borne disease problems. Uh, there's a lot of different products out in the market so I saw it as an opportunity to learn more. It's hugely important for a business like this when you want to be at the forefront of leaders in the industry to have our staff go to those courses, uh, hear what's, what's out there, what other people are doing. It's a continuous uh, learning curve, but also it's a continuous planning curve for growers to be able to manage them effectively. So if you put a, a group of 30 people in the room, plus the presenters, you've got an awful lot of experience in the room. We, we had researchers, we had agronomists, very importantly we had other growers. And one of the biggest benefits was comparing notes. Uh, well, what I took out of it, importance of cover cropping and what it can do for your soils. Probably the networking opportunity, the resource material that was provided, uh, that was very helpful. Well, since the master class, we've uh, moved more to a minimum till practice. Beneficial products, uh, soil microorganisms that were talked about during the couple of days, which uh, we've subsequently uh, been investigating, doing some trials with. So yeah, there's quite a lot still for us to do, a lot to understand and to learn. Asking more questions, and the right type of questions I need to be asking. So looking at what diseases they're having, obviously working with nutrients myself, so how we can tie that all together. What we look at, our crop rotations, selecting the right paddocks at the right times. It has, it has the influence on some of our decisions that we're doing now, um, and, and what we will do in, in the future, so it's good. Um, what we try to do is obviously bring in new content, but then have enough space within the masterclass to really process that information and for people to, to place it in their own context. Because that's when, they, when you really see some learnings and some light bulb moments coming on. Well, since the masterclass, we've been doing a few bays of compost and just comparing how they grow. So we, we planted a biofumigant in an area and we left the control area. The difference between those was we had uh, roughly 5% drop off to sclerotinia in the, in the biofumigant area and 40% loss in the other. So the, the bottom line to the, to the company was huge. You can go and put a shovel in there and you can dig up earthworms and all sorts now. With some of the changes we make, we're hoping we'll get improved performance in the early part of the season. So if we can get over some of the challenges we've had with 
dealing with the break crop residue. When you're growing a biofumigate crop or a cover crop, awareness of how that actually works and how to perform that practically. So providing the right advice and understanding how that procedure actually works, that's the main bit of information that I've used. Um, a really exciting project doing that. Uh, the results were incredible. Uh, they, they actually blew us away how, how well it did and, and not to have to put chemicals and things on the, on the soil was, it was a huge bonus. Yeah, really, really paid off to the business. Each masterclass is, is different. It changes depending on who's in the room. I don't think I put anybody off attending. <laughs> you know, any, any, anybody involved directly, either you know, managing businesses, you know, producing intensive horticultural crops, I think it's going to be really beneficial too. I would think anybody who's aiming to do a better job and to look after their soils, so whether that be agronomists um, and service providers, but also progressive growers and people seeking new information. Well, anyone like myself, uh, anyone, uh, I guess whether you've had 50 years of farming experience or, your, or agronomy work or you're just new to the industry, it's good to have everyone come into the same room and share their their experiences. Uh, if we can keep pulling in you know, the agronomists and the service industries and, and the researchers to those type of events, that's fantastic. You know, it might take a day or two out of your, out of your farming life, but it's certainly going to give you a lot of benefits for more than a day or two down the track. Because we want the participants to push the researchers and the researchers to push the participants. Having healthy soils will give you healthy plants at the end of the day, and, and that's what it's about. You know, We're all, all looking at profitability and Anyone who's got the opportunity, anyone in, in horticulture that's got the opportunity, just send someone along because you will gain something out of it. Um, you'll pick up a little thing here or a little thing there and, or you'll see something in the paddock and then you've got a network of people that you can go back to and say, well, hey, I've got this problem, how can you help? Uh, look, look, following the success of the uh, Sawborn Diseases Masterclass at Mornington, uh, we'll be looking at running uh, further masterclasses in sawborn diseases. We'll tie them to a, a demonstration site. They've uh, commissioned some work to go on into the future is to break down now some of the more specific science issues associated with particular diseases on particular crops and how that fits back into this whole intervention program of integrated crop management effectively. You know, and you've got the conditions really ripe for innovation. You've got a whole lot of knowledge there that is general in nature and you've got a whole lot of practitioners and by bringing them together you can really make a step change in practice. Nowadays we all have to look after our environment, we all have to look after the soils and everything that we can do to, to prove to the, the end consumer that we're, we are looking after that and, and doing the right processes is important to us as a business. Everybody's been doing the same thing for a long time but it's hit this point now that people want more and want to do a better job and efficiencies and I want to be doing that more with people. It's pretty exciting but I, I, I'm not quite sure what the future will, will look like but um, you know, certainly I see us continuing down the path that we're on. Yeah, I mean the soil, the longer the life is, the, the better for producing crops and uh, if you can expand that as long as you can by good practice, good management, then yeah, that's the future. We're part of a pristine environment that we grow in and we want to look after that and we want to be able to show people that we, we are doing that. We stand by what we say.